okay in this video i'm going to show you how to create a view okay and let's go to the pops database as you have seen the we have the pops database okay and this is a very i'm going to use sql server management studio to create a view and let's go and go to the view and right click on the select new view okay it will show me the list of the tables that i have to add okay and that table and then i can select the tables from that thing there will be a tab also with it that will show me the views already that already exist i can create a views on the views there we are okay so the tab already exists for the views also then there are functions and then there's no synonyms okay let's actually take the authors titles title authors and publishers okay and i'm going to add the add these tables and once the tables are added you will see them actually get linked automatically depending upon the primary and the foreign key they are having okay the relationship is actually will show up with the on the in the view okay now okay now the tables have actually shown up let's arrange it a little bit okay so that we would be able to actually get the correct way all the data is presented in the tables okay this is how it is okay now wherever there is a key that side is a primary key wherever there is a chain that side that table has a foreign key of that table okay as simple as that thing no no complications okay now i have not selected any field so there is a, it has generated a sql statement without any fields okay now i am going to select some of the fields and the sql statement would change okay let's go and select the author f name you can see below that the actually the sql is be getting added okay the fields are getting added now i want to select the publisher name okay from here that's it only one and from the author i am also going to select an estate okay uh, from the titles i was author i was going to select royalty and from this table i'm going to select type and type and one maybe price okay this is a simple sql statement with the join or the in the join it has been it has got generated now i can execute the sql and see the what the result are to ex execute this sql okay there it is okay i click this ex exclamation mark and the sql gets executed okay this is how it is getting generated and this is how the sql has got executed now this doesn't surprise me okay these are the field that actually i have selected now i also want to sort it down i also want to filter it down filter means i want to have a limited record okay so what i can do is i can say ascending which is a default actually okay or i can leave it unsorted if i want okay the first one the first one shows the first order of the field i can select any one the second one automatically shows me the second okay now the filter let's go to the state i want to filter it by the state okay equals to ca or in that is california or indiana okay and that's it and i press tab and that sql also gets added below okay now suppose if i wanted to execute this sql again and see okay now it should give me the state for ca and indiana only that is california and indiana only ca and or in only okay and other state should disappear because i have filtered it down with the where clause okay, here we are we have this sql statement and this is how it has got generated okay now suppose if i did not want i wanted all the other state except the ca or in so i will say i'll just go and change the filter here i will say not equals to and i will see the sql changes here down here you can see in the where clause okay and i am going to execute this sql again from here now suppose if i wanted to get the state for not equals to state okay california and indiana okay i have to use this syntax i have to use not equals to ca and not equals to n that is indiana okay and it will generate the sql and then i can execute S sql and see whether the result is true or false okay as you can see 
from the records that there is no record for CA and there is no record for Indiana means all the record for CA California and I and Indiana has been eliminated okay this is how the SQL has been created now if I cl say click the close button here okay it will uh, give me option to save I will save it uh, I will say author view author okay, you can give any name right now because this is a very simple view I am giving it going to give it as a author view I can always create a view on a view remember that thing same principle same way you can select the number of fields but remember that you cannot select more than the what is available in the view if there are 10 fields available in, in the view okay you can only select from the 10 fields you can create a view on a multiple views not a problem at all okay here we are we have the already created a view and it is showing us okay that's how the view is created okay you can see the columns here okay it was simple by using SQL Server Management Studio you can always create a view with a, you can have triggers index as it is showing you on a view not a problem at all if there is a, there is an option available for you to create a trigger and indexes okay you can always create a view on a view also not a problem okay okay I will end it here okay